seen that. Logan. Logan, Logan. Logan, lucky. <laughs> uh, this is my favorite superhero movie, I think. Um, yeah, I'm going to say I agree. I remember after watching this, I was like, I may have finally found a superhero movie that takes the place of Spider-Man 2. I, I still, uh, Spider-Man 2 is awful. I don't know how you, you are. never going to understand. <laughs> it's so bad. Uh, it's nuts. But it's Logan, so Logan is really good. Oh, it is fantastic. Um, this is my second time seeing it. And I started out watching the black and white version that came on the Mm -hmm. Blu-ray and it does not make it better. It, it it didn't seem like, I think the, the color version of this movie is, Mm -hmm. was their intention the way they filmed it? Oh, of course. But so my point is when you do a black and white movie, you have to be really intentional uh, about how you do it, so you have certain colors pop, you know, the, yeah. the dark and the white, like th- just to get like a really strong um, contrast yes. between the two. Mm-hmm. And this just kind of looked washed out. It didn't really feel like artistic in the yeah, way that you'd want flat, it. I would imagine. Yeah, and so about halfway through, I was like, ah, I'm just gonna go back to the the original version, and yeah. I enjoyed that a lot more. Yeah. How many times have you seen this though? This is the this was the second time that I've seen it. The second time, okay. I think we've actually talked about this before. We talked about it when it first came out. We did a podcast on it. Yeah, I think we did a little bit on it. But I don't remember what we said. So hopefully, if anyone is listening, good. has listened to that one, they also don't remember what we said. So if we say the same things, it doesn't matter because it's like a new conversation for everyone. What if we record the entire podcast again? Like it's, it wouldn't even be the first time we've done that. What if we just put out that podcast again? That's true. Just say the date at the beginning and then <laughs> overlay it. Um, but no, I, yeah, like I said, I really enjoy this movie. It takes place in the... Late 20s. The late 20s. Um, I want to say 2029 or 28 maybe. I don't remember. They said it. Yeah, I, well, I wasn't going so much for what year it was, but which timeline. Oh, fine. Um, okay. It is the... The correct one. After uh, Days of Future Past, I believe. Right? Uh, yes. The end of Days of Future Past, they save everyone. Cyclops is back. Uh, Jean Grey is back. Everyone's back alive. And that timeline continues into logan yeah um this does not really feel like a sequel to the no. wolverine uh n- <laughs> I, no. I like how you keep answering me when you have no idea what i'm gonna say You're like now this was in the 90s <laughs> <laughs> uh, exactly. it's probably pepperoni and yeah, pepperoni is the correct answer <laughs> to whatever you're about to ask. Um, but yeah, so this this doesn't feel like a sequel to the Wolverine. It doesn't feel like a sequel to. It almost feels like it's outside of all the movies. Yeah, like it could be a standalone. Yeah, I and mean, they do that in the comics all the time, where it yeah. is separate from the actual. Uh, it's not canon. It's still true to everything but it's not doesn't follow along yeah. and I, I like that I just I don't know what what would your opinion be would you like would you rather see say let's take X-Men right mm-hmm. in every movie be its own story it doesn't connect you can have different actors playing different roles just constantly changing it up or do you prefer the the chronological storytelling of like the MCU style um I kind of like both. Mm-hmm. I like I like how Marvel's doing it with their stuff, but I also like how X-Men's done their own thing. Yeah. Well, the issue with X-Men is that they've tried to keep it in yeah, order, like fell. in one universe. They like kind of went it's, outside of that, but then they kept 
trying to force it into being one consistent thing, and that's where it got real muddy. Clear vision. No. Um, after watching this one, obviously it's it's rated R, so it's definitely a lot different than the others. Yeah, it makes all the other X Men almost seem childish like oh yeah yeah i i just watch them like this is what they should have been doing the whole time the, the action like, i don't need all i don't need all superhero movies but anything to do with wolverine yeah that's how it should be well this is so it, it feels realistic mm-hmm. for a, a fantasy movie now with saying that because i agree with you that this movie waters down everything else right the yeah, how intense it is and how you know just brutal the action is, but if say X Men One was as brutal as this, do you think that would have worked? Um, because I don't think so. I don't think it would have. I don't think it would have been able to do it very well. Because like, you imagine Cyclops just blowing people into bits. You know, because that's what his power would do, right? Like it would, if yeah. he hit you with a laser, people. you would <laughs> just be blowing Explode holes or, through people. Yeah. Um, but because like you see, he shoots it and he hits the walls and it like destroys the walls, destroys buildings and all this stuff. But then he hits a person and it just kind of pushes them, pushes them down. And I think there's some type of uh, regulator on his glasses and stuff. But still, like you would do a ton of damage. And I think that wouldn't be very consistent with his character if you saw him just, like, shooting people and them just blowing up, (laughs) you know? Yeah, I mean, there might be a way to do it, but you're right. It's probably best that they did tone it down. Yeah. Yeah, Uh, yeah, I just don't think... It's just kind of a... It's a bummer. Yeah, no, for sure. I feel like they finally figured it out, and then it's it. Like, we're not getting more of that. Yeah, well, Logan is great, right? But it's only great because of there's so few characters. If well, that's yeah, you know, if everyone else was in there, then I think it would it wouldn't work. They would have all the powers. Just I don't know. There's just something about it that wouldn't fit. You couldn't tell. You couldn't tell this the story. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you were going to say. Don't lie. <laughs> you couldn't tell the same story of, oh, the mutants are these lower class put upon this allegory for racism, right? Using the mutants yeah. because their powers would be devastating and they would be tearing apart people and the humans would seem justified if it was all filmed in the style of Logan. Yeah, they make it to where these are regular people and they can kind of do some other stuff. Not these are all mass weapons. Yeah. They could take down an army. Yeah. What did you think of Professor X having killed all the other mutants in this movie? Oh, so the whole everything with Professor X is so it's uh, I I like it yeah. as far as I think it's a good story. Obviously, I don't like it, like it, but it's 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 a powerful. It's a it's a powerful arc. Like he had one of the the most strongest, you know, minds and brains of of anyone. Yeah, and it's still like it's not protected from the human aspect of dementia or Alzheimer's or whatever it was that he had. Yeah. Just I I, and, I don't think they said specifically it was just degenerate degen oof. yeah degenerative degenerate nope, that's not it either <laughs> degenerative Degener- yeah there you go uh-huh. okay you're um, a degenerate I think that's I think it's super good I don't I mean I don't know the word I'm looking for but I, I think, think that was a great story that's line. super good yep, yep super good is exactly <laughs> what I meant to say and the fact that now he legit is a, like a weapon of mass destruction. Yeah, right? Like he his he can't his control it massive anymore. power is so dangerous. Um yeah. in the comics, I think this I, we might have talked about this in the first the first time we talked about this movie, but in the Old Man Logan comic, Wolverine is actually the one who went and killed everyone. That there was oh, a really? guy who could um make him see like visions. 
Like he uses, uh-huh. I can't remember his name. I want to say it's like Mysterio or something like that. And he like basically hypnotized Wolverine. Wolverine panicked, thought he was being attacked by, you know, like a hundred different villains and just went on a rampage and started slicing them up. And then the guy removed the vision and it was just all the other X-Men that he just, just murdered, just destroyed them all. Um, I like that they use Professor X instead. I think that's a... Uh, I for, think it makes more sense. Well, for this movie, I think it's a stronger um, betrayal, almost. Yeah. You know, like, it's... They were so important to Professor X, and so for him to have killed them, it's like a real it's, gut it's, punch. Yeah, and it's hard because, like, with his brain being what it is, he doesn't even fully realize it all the time. Yeah. But he has the moments where he's uh, I don't lucid. Know, lucid, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And he's just like, you can tell he f- feels horrible about it. Like, or that scene when they're, I believe they're in a casino, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're in Vegas. And he starts having another episode. And he's just like, I'm sorry. Like, I- I'm so sorry. I, I can't. I- he can't control it. And he's just like, he feels awful. Well, that was because he was being attacked, right? That was like his last ditch effort. I, like, that's the thing I could never tell. If he, if being attacked made him go into a seizure or if he used it oh, yeah, that's as right. like no, a weapon. I think he did use it as a, a weapon, but yeah. he couldn't control it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I, I couldn't, I could, I still don't really know if it was intentional or accidental, but with the intentional, it was too much for him to control so he couldn't stop it you know what i mean mm-hmm. but he was he was killing everyone uh that yeah. that scene though kind of bothers me um i like it i like the idea of it but the effects on people don't seem very consistent like i can't tell what's happening like you look at uh oh, i just had his name what's the bald guy steven merchant's character uh caliban caliban you look at him, he looks like he's choking to death, right? He's like, I can't breathe he's in the cage. Yeah. But then you look at all the people in the casino and they're just standing there. They're just frozen. They can't move. Then you see Wolverine walking down the hallway and he looks like he's being blown backwards. Like he's stabbing into the wall to, mm-hmm. he looks like he's like trying not to go back, but nobody else is being thrown away, right? They're all just yeah. stuck. And then you have all the um, the the soldiers, and they can like move their eyes and like see what's happening. So it's just like, what what is going on? Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. what like why is it so different for everyone? It doesn't quite make sense. I get that Wolverine is like powering through it, right? Like it, mm-hmm. I think it hurts so bad, but he's able to push through. Same with Laura. They're both able to push through. Their their mutant powers are able to overcome the issue. Yeah. But I, I just don't know what's happening to everyone else. Hmm. Yeah, actually, I didn't really think about it like that, but it's true. I don't know. I don't know what the intention with that was. Yeah, but it was a cool scene, you know, and then like okay. the the horror of being Your frozen in place. So bad. Oh. You right? Yeah, you keep dropping out like crazy. Oh, sorry. I can hear you fine. Oh, well, lucky you. <laughs> um, let me know if we need to restart or something. Uh, it just comes and goes. I don't know. Why do, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to keep going or you want to restart? Why don't you just come over here? Okay, yeah, I'll be there in two we'll days. Just, we'll just do it live. <laughs> um... Uh, the the horror for the soldiers of watching Wolverine slowly come at them after yeah. having seen him murder all their friends. Like, like, that was a really strong moment of, like, oh, that would be terrible. <laughs> and the, the brutality yeah. the brutality of seeing the claws go through their skulls and, you know, go into them. Like, there's just so much more impact um, mm-hmm. in this movie. And... I, I always also I always also also wonder with um the comic books in this movie mm-hmm. how much of that was in reference to the other movies? 
and oh, how much yeah. of how much of the other movies were actually something that happened yeah that's a good question that i don't have an answer to because i i kind of take it as the other movies the comics are kind of a um was it an allegory for the other movies of like this sort of happened it kind of hits on the themes of the reality of this universe but -hmm. those are all not true yeah uh this is what it's actually like because he's like people died people got hurt you know like and i think this movie was like if this was real this is how brutal it would actually be this Uh, is what it would look like this is yeah this is what it would look like it wouldn't be like happy and fun (laughs) like the other x-men movies are uh yeah but at the same time it could be saying the movies were real the comic books is what took it to the extreme in our reality right like yeah. The movies that we have are more of a documentary of this reality where the comics is overdoing it to an extent. Right. So I'm not really sure what they're trying to. I didn't think about it that much, but I did. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, I wonder if these comics are based on, you know, like, like you were saying, like real life events that happened in these universes. Yeah. Just in comic form. Mm-hmm. Or if they just took the characters and made new stories. I don't know. It doesn't really. Well, I think what Wolverine kind of alluded to was in the beginning, they were telling some true stories and then they just used the characters and like just ran with it. They just started yeah. making stuff up and lying about everything. Yeah, um, but the, sure. the comic in this movie is not actually real. They made it for this movie, which, oh, I, okay. I, didn't know that. which I thought was kind of a weird choice. I know they needed the coordinates and the whole Eden storyline, but I feel like there's got to be one that, that could have correlated. Yeah, that they could have written around, right? This uh-huh. a similar thing, you know, like I don't know how many comics there are of the X-Men. There's, you know, probably over Seven. a thousand. And I would imagine there's got to be one about trying to find safety. Yeah. And I think it wouldn't have mattered to me because obviously I don't know which comic it would be and I haven't read all of them or no, I haven't really read hardly any. But it, I thought it would be, I think it would be a nice nod to people who did invest into it, you know, who did read them all to actually put a real comic in there so they could, I don't know, maybe they were trying not to... Oh, one of the classic Easter eggs that you hate to see in these movies. But that they they put the comic in there already. That wouldn't be... Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like they legitimized the reason to have it. It wasn't like yeah. shoving it down no, your I face. Because you could have done the same thing, but just used an actual one and people would have appreciated it. Could be. Could be. <laughs> what did you think of Laura? Uh, I thought she was awesome. Yeah, she did I really good. She's definitely got the potential to be way more devastating than Wolverine. Yeah. Just because she... She doesn't have... um, There's there's really nothing stopping her from, like, going crazy. Yeah. Like, that's just how she was trained, or not even trained, really kind of created, is to be that creature. Yeah. It's going to be I think it's going to be a lot harder for her in the future to contain herself like it has been for Logan. Yeah, maybe. Um I I, I like no, the no, no, it is. <laughs> I like the relationship they have because Logan yeah. especially in the beginning feels like, you know, just a wild dog, right? Like he doesn't seem like he really has any morals or morality or like doesn't just he just he doesn't seem to care. You know, like He's more worried about his his limo than himself. He, you know, murders those guys for attacking him. You know, like all this different stuff. Like, he just seems out of control. Then he meets up with Laura, and he's just like, oh, wow. You know, he now he seems just almost domesticated. <laughs> and she's like the, at the full extent. Like, Laura is what Wolverine would have been if he never showed up to if you never, yeah. Xavier's school. Although, if you, saying that, really, it, it doesn't... Yeah, it, 
it doesn't quite work because he was already consistent when he showed up to Professor X. Yeah. But I think I think that was kind of their idea of like this is the extreme. This is how Professor X took you away from that. And now it's your job to do it for her, for you to, you know, love her into being good. I I feel like part of that domestication that you were saying is it wasn't even really up until Professor X died, almost as if he he knew Xavier felt so strongly about protecting her and he I don't know if he felt obligated to continue that. Yeah. Because he couldn't save Charles. And that's kind of I think it's at that point where you kind of see him become more I don't know friendly is a word, but more protective and and less of a babysitter yeah well he when she was getting kidnapped he walked right past her you have x24 carrying her out in handcuffs oh yeah he's looking at her like what is going on like there's a copy of me now and then he just runs up the stairs be shock what's that yeah oh part of that has to be shock yeah but like still he yeah no his first priority was xavier he doesn't care about Laura in that moment at all. Like he sees right. her, he's not concerned about retrieving her. I almost feel like he's somewhat relieved. You know, like oh, this is All right, she's, she's your problem now. <laughs> yeah. And but then he runs upstairs and sees Xavier's dead. And like this moment, I don't remember if I cried the first time I watched this movie. I probably did cuz I'm a big baby. But I definitely started tearing up when he was like, oh, it, wasn't it. it wasn't me. It wasn't me. He says it wasn't me. Yeah. Oh, it's just so like, it's just so tragic to the person that you care about the most to it's brutally weird. die with the idea that it's you your fault. Yeah. See, So that's, I, I remember it differently. The first time I could have swore that he died upstairs and I was like, you know, I was, I was like, he died thinking, you know, Logan killed him. Yeah. Not understanding why. But I guess he he makes it down, you know, yeah. outside, and, and he's, he's a- able to to talk to him and I, uh, maybe hopefully understand. I don't know. But. What did he say? Was it the Sun Seeker? I'm trying to remember what mm, Professor X I said. Remember that in his dying words. I I couldn't really make it out, but I think he said there's something about the Sun Seeker. But he maybe he was saying don't get the Sun Seeker or do I I don't know. It doesn't really matter. He dies. And uh, that was kind of the turning point for Logan. And he goes and he fights uh, X-24. And the more we talk about it, the more I realize how much I'm repeating myself from the first podcast. Um, Oh, really? Yeah, but that's all right. The X-24, he, I did not like him. I didn't think he was a good choice. I thought it was over over the top. Um, Oh, really? I liked it. Yeah, because it's it's legit. It's got to be a little scary for Logan too, because nothing he's come up against has been able to beat him. All right, he's able he's been able to beat everything in his past his whole life. Yeah, this is like potentially the one thing because it's exactly him, just Mm -hmm. younger and faster and stronger. Yeah, this is this could be finally you know this final could be the thing that that ends him. Yeah, he's he's legit fighting for his life every time. Yeah, I just thought it was a distraction from the actual conflict of him trying to raise Laura. Like I felt like yeah. the the soldiers showing up and being a constant like a prod to them to keep moving was good. Uh-huh. I thought the conflict was between him and Laura and figuring all that out. And I think having the soldier think- with the robot hand giving him higher intelligence and allowing him to like figure out ways to get Laura away from Wolverine. You know what I'm saying? Like, so there's, yeah, like to me, that's how I would have gone with it. I felt like X 24 is kind of this distraction from what was interesting to me, at least like it was like a gimmick and it, it, I, I don't know. I wasn't really into it. Yeah. I guess like you said, they could have made that guy more menacing, but without X 24, I feel like the other guys were not a, a huge issue. But they had that that uh, serum that I feel like the... I, well, okay, was the robot-handed guy a mutant or not? I'm not sure. Cause I, I remember wondering that 
the first time I watched it, I still don't know. Yeah. I don't know what his power would be. Robots. Just being a robot. Just being a robot. That's his power. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe he wasn't a mutant. I would then go. I don't think so. Go back and change him into a mutant, and give him some powers that would not compete with Logan until he took the serum, and then he, you know, what I'm saying like. Yeah. The, but that's it. Doesn't really matter. That's I mean that's I'm not all, what they did. I'm all that's down not the movie for we have. X24. I like it. <laughs> um, and that that first that first fight at that that farm or yeah. whatever. Mm-hmm. I thought that was the best fight of the movie. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like the. It's, uh, so br- it's just so brutal. The Mexican fight, the fight in Mexico, when him and Laura first start fighting. I think that's my favorite one. Yeah. No, that was good. But this one had it had that. Wolverine rage. Yeah. Where he's just, you know, a madman. Yeah. Um I do I do appreciate this movie didn't take time to mourn the family that dies. You know? Because yeah. that would not be consistent with his character. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like he's just like, Yeah, people die. Okay, let's keep he's going. Like, oh dang it. Like he I think he felt bad, but he didn't like oh, no for sure. It in any other movie that would have been a huge turning point for the character yeah. of like, wow, these, this family who wasn't involved with this is now dead because of me. And it would have been a huge burden that they would have had a release at some point. They would have had to figure out. And this He's lived too long to, to care anymore. Yeah. And so it, many people have probably died because of him or as a result of him, it's nothing. Yeah. Well, that's what he's saying to Laura, in uh north dakota she's like uh, i've killed people and he's like yeah you're gonna have to figure out how to be okay with that and she's like yeah, well they that's, were that's it's not gonna go away yeah and she's like well they were they were bad people and he's like yeah it doesn't matter you're still gonna have it to figure doesn't. out to, how to be okay with it that them being bad doesn't make it any easier yeah i like that it it, it does show him yeah you see him I, like you said, not that he doesn't care about that family, but he can't he can't dwell on it. He yeah. he's got to move. But then he still shows a lot of emotion when he's burying Charles. Like he still does have that yeah that piece of him left. He was well. Xavier yeah. is the only only person to really invest into him. Yeah, you know, like the only person to be, look beyond this animal, this murderer is like, no, you're, you're good. You can, you can do good. You can be better, right. you know? And like he, even in their conversation in the car where they're talking um, about cursing and he's like, Hey, watch your language. And she's like, <laughs> and Logan is like, what? She can slice men up, but she needs to be protected from a few couple or a few words. Yeah. And he's like, everyone can be better. And he's like, better than me? He's yeah. like, yeah, <laughs> better than you. <laughs> like, there's no reason to not strive to try to be better. And, like, I, I felt like the messages in this movie were really solid and not, they didn't shy away um, from being offensive. Do you know what I mean? Like, right. um, it was just kind of like, yeah, be a good person. And then, you know, obviously they're chopping people up. But, like, the core theme is, like, be responsible, do good things, try hard and be sacrificial. And I, I really, this movie is like, I think just so well done and like challenging, not like hard to watch, but like you watch it and you're like, Oh, I want to be a good person too. Yeah. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe I'm putting too much into it. I know you have always struggled to be a good person. So that I understand what this means to you. <laughs> Um, well, what else about this movie did you like? Um, okay. <laughs> there was one line that I was a little confused by, uh-huh. uh, at the end when they're confronted by the soldiers and the, the doctor or scientist or whatever he is yeah. and Wolverine's talking to him. And basically he was like, he says like, Oh, I think, I believe you knew my father. He's like, yeah, he's the one who did this to me. He's like, I think I killed him. And the guy's like, yeah, probably. And then the robot arm was like, hey, he, I don't remember exact the line, but it's something like, 
hey, show some respect. He's like, this is the one who killed your kind or something like that. I had no idea. What was he talking about? <laughs> I don't remember that at all. Show, he says something about show some respect. This is the, yeah, something like that. And I was like, what? Show some respect for the person who killed my kind? He said that? I don't know. I don't remember something that. Something like that. Well, because he I'm was, I thought that doctor was keeping his the mutant gene alive. Yeah, I don't really know exact. Hold on, I gotta find it because this is bugging me. Yeah, did you give me, give me one second? Maybe you got it backwards. Show some respect. He's the one keeping you alive, or keeping your kind alive, or something like that. Maybe. Hold on. Because that would make more sense, right? gonna try to pull it up on my phone here i know exactly where it is um Uh, but while we wait go ahead and you can you're gonna pull the clip up on your phone yeah yeah i watch it on my phone well no i i thought you were gonna pull the line up like you were gonna look at the script or something like google the that's absurd (laughs) i would be shocked if you can find this yeah i'm not gonna bother with that with me. the clip? I'm going to be no, shocked if you can the, find the, the clip. Script. Oh, no, I can find the clip. Let's see. I, I promise you. I'll Are we going to have to watch the entire movie? Yes. Hold on. Did you die? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Did you find it? It's loading. I know it's... I know exactly where it is. That so, sounds like the beginning. Well, yeah, everyone's got to start at the beginning. <laughs> and then go a little further. Oh, come on now. I uh, I thought Hugh Jackman did great as old man Logan. And him yeah. being so like broken down was really good. But I felt, like the makeup, super slow. I felt like the makeup was not that great. No? Like his hair his hair kind of looked goofy to me. His hair's always kind of looked goofy, though. That's kind of just but like, thing. The old man effects kind of look goofy yeah. to me. They didn't like, they didn't work as well this time as it did the first time I saw it. It's, so? it's, no, it stood out a lot more to me. I don't, I don't know why. Um, it just, it didn't feel, it didn't feel like he aged correctly, but. Right. Although I guess he was being poisoned, right, from the adamantium, yeah. and that's what was killing him, slowing him down. Um, did you find it? Yeah, I'm just about there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is this is riveting. Bet it is. <laughs> All right, here it is. All right. The effects of the serum are wearing off. You will not survive further wounds. That's right. It's right here. Myself. It was under right. I believe you knew my father on the Weapon X program. You hear it? Yeah. He's the asshole who put this poison in me. Yes, he was. I think I might have killed him. I think. I think you're right. Why don't you show some respect, Mude? You're looking at the man that wiped out your kind. See? My friend don't yeah. He said, show some respect, Mude. You're looking at the man who wiped out your kind. <clears throat> what I, am I showing respect to? The guy who killed my friend? I don't, I don't even get what that line is in reference to. Well, I think not so much like respect out of like honor, but like respect out of fear. But he's not even the one who wiped out his kind. And that's what well, I'm no. So about, Professor right? X killed some mutants. He didn't kill all the mutants. Mm-hmm. This guy destroyed the gene from progressing. I think. Oh, okay. I, I I got you now. Yeah. So I think it was like that makes more sense. Then don't be. But why am, don't act like you're so tough. This guy killed everyone you love. Type of thing. Maybe I guess I don't know. It's, I feel like show some respect wouldn't be. The, I'd be like, hey. You watch your mouth. This this is a guy who can you know wipe out your kind. I I would get that, but yeah. the show some respect implies that hey, this guy did you a favor. 
yeah, yeah. Some respect. Yeah. I don't know. It's just an interesting line. I, I watched it twice. I was like, I don't know what that guy's talking about. Yeah. I think that's how it would be meant to be taken. I think it's kind of a goofy way to say it, but like it's, hey, yeah. you know, like you're not that you're not that strong. Like this guy yeah. killed everyone of your kind. Like figure it out. But which isn't even true, right? Like he created from all that. And I guess it's different at that point. I don't know. The uh, yeah, I don't I don't follow all the mutant kids. I I really like because they're way more violent <laughs> than the well, X Men, yeah. um, and part of that is this movie, right? Like they, they have a chance to actually use their powers, but part of it I think is they're like we're saying they're not domesticated. They're not they weren't softened down. They're like fighting for their lives and. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's I think it's really good. I think Logan is my favorite out of all the superhero movies. Um, yeah, it's definitely it's definitely up there for sure. And even Infinity War doesn't come close to the same feelings for me. Like Infinity War is dark ish. I I don't I don't know. I mean, with Infinity War, I never felt like. Like, oh, wow, this is heavy, you know? Yeah. Like, part of that might be, I know more movies are coming, so I'm not worried about it. But Logan always is like... This is it. Yeah, this is, this is like, important almost, you know? Yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. But, uh, yeah, so anything, any other thoughts, Logan? Um... Technically... Right, Uh-oh. he he still can heal, right? It's just way slowed down. Yeah. Right. Mm-hmm. So what's to stop him from actually coming back alive? Just way longer than it normally takes. Uh, I don't think Hugh like, Jackman why is wants this to one do it. Final. Because Hugh Jackman doesn't want to do it anymore. I don't think. Okay. Beside that. Yeah. No, I think he could. I think. I mean, they do it in the comics. You know, it happens all the time. He dies and comes back, dies and comes back. It's not. Oh, my other question was, what is the border going to help him with? Like, why? Jurisdiction, maybe. These guys aren't following the law. Yeah, but they kind of are. I mean, they they have a whole business. Mm, They're like mercenaries. Yeah, but like. If you go outside of, let's say they say they're mercenaries, but they have an agreement with the the United States, they can get away with doing the stuff they're doing. You show up in another country and you start doing, you know, start having gunfights in the woods, then that military is going to come and stop you. All right, so you're just going to give up on your life goals at that point. Like, all right, find something else to do. Mutants are gone. Why, well, like? I don't know what you. I don't know what your question is. The, I don't buy it. I don't. They must have had an agreement with the United States. The reason why the border would help is because they didn't have an agreement with the Canadians, and the Canadians would stop them if they tried to fight the mutants on that side of the border. I don't think. I don't I think see. it. I don't think it was like a uh, a physical barrier. Like if the mutants got one foot over the edge, I don't think they were going to stop. But they weren't going to no, chase that. them into Canada. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll see. We won't what? see. <laughs> what are we going to see? Well, so, I mean, there's been talk of, of potentially continuing with Laura. What do you think about that? I don't think that'll happen. I'd be shocked. You don't think so? Mm-mm. Because, well, Fox is sold to Marvel. Um, I think the Dark Phoenix is the last thing. I think the New Mutants movie, the horror one, I, th- I think that got canned, right? Did that even, is that still coming out? Um, which one is that? The horror movie. I don't I don't even recall that one. It was like 10 mutants live in a house and they're being like tormented, but it turns out they're mutants. It's like a horror based X-Men story. I don't know how to help you beyond that if you hadn't seen the trailer. I mean, I haven't seen the movie. I've only seen the trailer. But I, I think the whole movie got canceled after the uh, Fox deal. No, it looks like it's in post-production right now. New Mutants? I think that's what it was yeah. called. Yeah, um, it's the New Mutants. 
August 2nd, 2019. Why don't you go to Logan and look up Laura, the actress, and see if she's slated for any untitled X-Men movies. Yeah. All right, all right. Um, no, she doesn't got nothing. Yeah, so I don't, I don't think, I think her storyline's done. I think Logan was kind of a one-off that they're not going to continue with. I think now that Marvel has the rights back, they're probably going to. So they'll do Infinity War two or Endgame. Which did you see the trailer for that? Yes. I thought that was pretty good. I thought that was like the yeah. perfect. That's the perfect yeah, amount they, they... of trailer of spoiler yeah exactly i don't like to see anything other than kind of what they did just well, a, a real basic premise but it's gonna get worse oh i They're know gonna... we're gonna get two more before the movie comes out yeah um but so they'll have in game come out and that will tie up everything from phase one all those storylines and then they'll kind of reset the field and i'm guessing um I'm guessing what will happen is so if we say after in game they restart with the phases, mm-hmm. then probably around phase two, right? You have another phase one, then phase two, or if you want to say phase five, phase six, uh, whatever I'm trying to say. I think they're calling it four and five. Four and five. Four. So the the second, the second next phase, <laughs> I think they'll bring in gotcha. they'll bring in the X Men. Uh, Fantastic Four, maybe. So they said, someone in chat said they didn't need to show Hawkeye, though. Yeah, I I don't know. I felt like Ant-Man was more of a an issue yeah, to show that, I, than I Hawkeye. I, I, didn't, I wanted to think he was still in limbo. Yeah. Yeah, you know exactly that he got out, which seemed kind of like deflating the end of Ant-Man. Anticlimatic, yeah. Um, and Hawkeye, they showed him as the Ronin, which I, I don't know. I... I think it's kind of cool. You, it kind of gives you an idea of why he hasn't been around. But I don't know. Did you? Were you hoping that he went to Ash? Are you? Are you on chat, Taylor? I am now. Um, uh, no, I I was pretty sure he was. I always figured he was going to come back because his family's gone, and he's got to figure out what happened. So he Hawkeye that's with the Avengers. Yeah. Yeah. How do you pronounce this guy's name? Should, show I show I Eb? <laughs> I'm sorry if I show I Eb, and I think I think the numbers are 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 four nine five. Show is how you say that. Abe, show Abe. Show? Sorry know. for butchering it. I, I'm terrible at reading. I'm literally the worst. Taylor makes fun of me all the time for it. Uh, the Ant Man part also, was also was so predictable and unfailing, uh, unfailing, unfunny. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I Paul Rudd is kind of always exactly the same. Um, I think it's hard for him yep. to do anything else. I think he's written inside a box, and I think he acts yeah, inside of that box as well. Um, but yeah, so I felt like Ant Man. They shouldn't have put him in the trailer the there's a theory i don't know how much i want to go into it but there's a theory that that scene is in the past oh really yeah um because steve rogers is wearing his captain america winter soldier uniform oh okay i thought it had something to be with his no beard well also his face looks cgi from nose down. Really? Yeah, to me, I don't know. Maybe I'm imagining things, but I got like this real Justice League vibe from that. Oh boy, the Henry Cable face. Yeah. And uh, so I don't know. So my guess is they put those two scenes of him and Black Widow in reverse order. I think that they find out from Ant Man about Thanos or something. I don't know. It'll be, it don't really matter. And, It'll be interesting. I'm excited for it. I'm kind of... Uh, um, is Scarlett Johansson has short ginger? If she did have short hair in that clip, I'm pretty sure. I didn't really pay attention. Uh, I want to say it was like chin level, you know, jaw level, chin level. 
Um, I want to say I want to say that at first in mm. that first part when she starts talking, she's got blonde hair. Yeah, but it's short, right? Maybe, yeah. Um, I don't, I don't really know the color. I didn't, I wasn't really paying attention to her hair, but yeah, I wasn't. Either. I was more looking at Steve Rogers' face. I was like, "What is going on?" Uh, yeah, I, they kind of wish they hadn't shown it, but I guess if it's a misdirection, fine. He said, uh, "Imagine the MCU with no Tony Stark." I, I would be so happy if Tony Stark just suffocated to death in that pod. Not because I hate the character or, you know, don't want him to come back. But, like, the choice of the movie or the filmmakers to just murder him in that way where you're like, oh, he's definitely going to get back. He's Iron Man. He's Tony Stark. He has to get back. The movie just ends with him dead in that spaceship would be amazing to me. (laughs) (laughs) Sorry, show. I didn't mean to to scare you off. He said he's, he's leaving the stream for me saying that. Well, yeah, that's a pretty awful thing to say. It would, it would be, it. It's not that I would enjoy for him to die that way. I would just be so impressed that they made that choice because everything is so predictable, you know. Yeah. Because, like, yeah, I don't know. It'd be, it'd be interesting for sure. If he just was never rescued and he just floated around dead, forever. just dead. <laughs> they just find him, like in, they do like a Guardians of the Galaxy five, and they. F- Stumble upon a ship. Re- reboot like Fantastic Four when they go to space and they're just gonna find his body. Yeah, <laughs> that's Fate's Five. But uh, yeah, so anything else about Logan? Kind of got sidetracked there for a sec. Um, no, I think it's a fantastic movie. Yeah, what do you think, Show? Do you it. like Logan? Pepper Potts is pregnant too. Keep him alive for cameos later on. Yeah, I think. I think Steve Rogers is either going to die or go back in time and he'll oh, stay one of the two for sure. I think like, I, I think, think so. Yeah. So I think either he will die in the current timeline and just be gone. Like he'll sacrifice wow. himself to save everyone or go back to the, or 40s. he'll stay in his original timeline without going in the future and live his life out there. And then with Peggy. Yeah. That'd be cool. I'd be okay with that. Yeah. But I, I think, Captain America Steve Rogers is done. I think the mantle will be passed on to Falcon and it'll kind of move on from there. Uh yeah. show says Logan was amazing, which I 100% agree. Agree. But uh, yeah. Top 5. What are your other 4? Cuz I would say this is my number 1. Yeah. What's your what's your favorite superhero movie, Taylor? I, like I said, I love, for some reason that I don't fully understand, I absolutely oh, yeah. love Spider-Man 2. I forgot about that. But this that. one, this one's probably my favorite. We need to do, we need to do Spider-Man 2 at some point. I don't know how we haven't done it yet. We've been talking about it for years. I know. But, uh, yeah. Uh, in that top five, I mean, Logan for sure. I really liked Guardians 2. I liked Ragnarok. What is wrong with you? Guardians 2 war. was way worse than the first Guardians. How are you going to pick what? that one? No way. Yeah. Absolutely Guardians not, 1 no. is good. Guardians 2 is meh. Nah, I, I like Guardians 2 better. Why do you pick the worse version of these movies? You are wrong. No so way. Many levels. But uh, yeah, so we'll be back next week. Um, we're going to be talking about X-Men First Class as we continue through uh-huh. all nine X-Men movies. Um, this is Logan is easily the best of the Wolverine trilogy, and I think the best of all the X Men movies. Days of Future Past yeah. is close, but Days of Future Past is really good. I mean, I, First Class is really good too. First Class is Past is great. I'm excited to watch First Class again. I haven't seen it for a long time, it's but been I, a while, and I've actually only seen Days of Future Past once. Yeah, but uh, yeah. So thanks for listening. Thanks for hanging out with us. We will be back next week. And uh, check us out on Facebook, like us on Twitter. I don't know. I think I said that backwards. But, uh, yeah. Thanks again. Check us on liking Facebook and go to our MySpace page. (laughs) Uh, So, show says Logan, Dark Knight, Avengers, Civil War, and Days of Future Past. I, I, uh, I think I like Winter Soldier more than Civil War. But Civil War. No, no, no. So, you got that out of order. 
conceptually is great, but I think what they made is not as good as Winter Soldier. No, we just watched Civil War a couple of days ago. That's great. The end credit scene it. for Days of Future Past was unbelievable. Was that the I don't one? Remember what that was? I think that was the pyramid building, right? The kid building What's the it? pyramid with the four horsemen. I'm trying to remember. I haven't seen it for forever. Yeah, instead of going to Apocalypse. So I don't know. I don't know a lot about that. It, that was supposed to be a Apocalypse, right? The, as the kid so. one where he wakes up in the x-men mansion with the old cast oh, 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 oh. sorry Why am uh, I not yeah, yeah. That? but it, that wasn't um the end credit scene was it that was just the end of the movie <clears throat> where wolverine wakes up sees professor x and then sees all the old cast i don't remember that at all i've only <laughs> at, seen it once i need to go back and see it at the end you, what are you talking about? We've talked about it. At the end of Days of Future Past, Logan comes back and sees Professor X, sees uh, Scott Summers back alive, sees Jean Grey back alive, all back at the school. That might be that might be in the credit scene. I thought that was the end of the movie. Maybe it was a mid credit scene because they definitely had the pyramid uh, building with yeah, Apocalypse. I remember, that. I remember the pyramid thing. Huh, I don't... I don't remember the scene that you're talking about, though. Apocalypse is terrible. Uh, and they I cannot believe they had the balls to say the third movie is always the worst trying to make fun of X3 when that was the worst of the uh, the new the new class trilogy. Yeah. Didn't didn't care for it too much. Yeah, I don't know if they were. If they ever intended to continue um, the original cast in another movie, but Logan kind of ended that. Like it, it, they all did. They like bookended it, so it went from that ending into Logan. Um, they kind of, I don't. Like, Apocalypse didn't seem to change anything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Apocalypse was terrible. I'm not looking forward to rewatching that one. I've only seen that one once also. Yeah, me too. But uh yeah. I don't mind it, I guess. Thanks for uh thanks for hanging out with this show. Sorry about butchering your name and saying that it would be cool if uh Tony Stark died. But uh so imagine Ooh. they carried on from with the old cast and made one final X Men movie before Logan with a real cast. I liked the original Cyclops actor. But was used terribly. Yeah, James Marston. He. Uh, I love James Marston. Yeah. He's great. He's in uh, Westworld now. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, I would. I almost would like to see another movie where Professor X kills them all. I don't know why I like seeing people die. Maybe maybe there's something wrong with me. But seeing that storyline, seeing him, like the I, there, the there's something up. about a mass group of good guys dying. That I also kind of like. Yeah. Not because I enjoy it, because I just feel like it's powerful. Yeah. Like, it takes me back to, like, uh, what, like Order 66 in Star Wars. Uh-huh. When they just start wiping out all the Jedi. Spoiler alert. <laughs> you but, you uh, like when the kids die. Oh, I love... When, actually, I do truly love when those kids die. <laughs> but in general, I like when all the Jedi are being betrayed and this and that. I think that's... I think it's just strong. Uh, Justice League versus X Men Apocalypse. I would say X Men Apocalypse because there's still some cool stuff in it. Um, oh yeah, no Justice League sucks. Yeah, Justice League is terrible. What do you think about uh, Aquaman? I haven't seen it. Well, no, I mean like that trailer. Has it come out yet? I thought it came out already. Yeah. Aquaman came out. The movie. Has the movie come out yet? Uh, I don't know if the movie came out. I don't even know. The trailer. Uh, I didn't. The trailer was not good. It just looked like more of the same. Yeah. Everyone is saying that this is like DC's finally turning the page and like moving forward, and this is gonna be it. Yeah, that's not. Like, yeah, that's what they said with uh, Suicide Squad and Wonder Woman, which Wonder Woman was good. Don't get me wrong. I want to see Shazam. Like, I think Shazam looks good. I think Shazam looks good because it's gonna just be different. Yeah. It's gonna be a lot lighter, funnier. What's the Logan theory? Is he, is he secret? Of, of, is it Logan Paul? 
Oh, man. <laughs> it's quite a theory. They both... Wolverine did go to Japan. Have you heard about that? Logan Paul going That's to Japan? That's true. They were around. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm not sure. It makes sense. Can, can, canonically? Canonically? Canonically. Canonically? I don't know. Can- canonically. Canonically, yeah. Um... I'm show said he theory, hates though. he hates both Justice League and X Men Apocalypse. Yeah, they're both really bad, but I think Apocalypse edges it out. It's not but it's Justice not bad in the Apocalypse same way. Good. Because Days of Future Past was so good, and then it went into Apocalypse, and it just felt like it was just disappointing. Yeah, I had no uh, I had no like anticipation at all for Justice League. So in that way, I wasn't super disappointed. Yeah. I was like. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Yeah, let's see. Sho says the animantium bullet, which hit the younger Logan, doesn't kill him. He heals and has no memory and is still in the X-Men world. Huh. That's interesting. That the X-24 is now so alive. he continues on as Wolverine? Yeah, maybe. I mean, because the doctor, like, I could kind of see that. The doctor talks about, oh, you're, you're a newborn and all this stuff, but... I just I don't see I like would he just slide in to Wolverine's position, you know, like how would you be able to create that? Although it's Yeah, um, no, he wouldn't have any of his memories. He no, would just but go on also living it like how Logan lived with no memory of anything trying to find himself. Yeah. yeah. Logan didn't have yeah. any memories either, right? That's what you're saying. And he Yeah. So I guess he, he could, wouldn't. He wouldn't slide in. He would just live a separate Wolverine-style life where he doesn't know he, anything. He would, with no memories and just lives as a normal person. That'd be awesome to be Wolverine and not realize you have adamantium claws. Right. <laughs> and just uh, I'm randomly. pretty sure it would get spoiled the first time you go to like a doctor's appointment and they tell you, you weigh five hundred pounds. <laughs> yeah, I was. I was wondering about that. How did they lift? Uh, Wolverine up that canyon in North Dakota. Uh, well, one of those kids was uh, Hulk Jr. Oh, okay. Uh, and X-23 sees him years later and be like, wow. Like, wow, he exists or wow, he's super hot? Because I feel like those are two different two different meanings. You're like, you're like, hey, wow, look at you. <laughs> um, did So, when they created x23 and x24 did they have to implant the adamantium onto their skeletons also or were they born with adamantium their skeletons are made of adamantium yeah yeah i don't know because they were they were created off of logan's genes right but he didn't adamantium wouldn't be in his genes right did you okay? Did you happen to notice that the file on her showed his original name, like his his OG name? No, I didn't notice that. It's just for a quick second. It shows it, and it says something, something, and then it's a James Hallett. Mm. I was like, oh, that that was that's like like I said, his his original name. Yeah. And I just thought I, I, I don't know how they, they would have that. that. Yeah. Yeah. That would seem Striker. <laughs> Striker's back. <laughs> All right. Well, show, thanks again for hanging out with us. We will be back around this time next week with uh, First Class. If you want to come hang out and talk about that with us, we'd appreciate it. But uh, yeah, thanks again.